We are 13 minutes away, 13 minutes away from the 1500 meter swim start. Welcome to the Legacy Triathlon. We're in Long Beach, California. Jenna's doing three races this weekend. We're on our way to race number one. It's custom for us to show up at a triathlon and do an open water swim the day before. So Jenna is just doing her duty. Which, where do I go? It's not over there. This is about as good as an ocean swim as one can get. Very flat, very fast. We're setting records out here today, just so you guys know. How are you feeling? Um, everyone weird. It doesn't feel like I'm racing. Yeah. All right, Jenna's about to go off. Yeah. 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 I took one out of your book. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna Hoffler is our strong bet for your overall leader right now. We said male or female, didn't we, Steven? That's it, Jenna's in first. Coming up on lap two. She is absolutely destroying. She's like a full pool length ahead of the next swimmer. And I'm multitasking here. I got drone in one hand, camera in the other hand. Drone's giving me some beeping signals. She's probably rounding the yellow, the second yellow right now. Yeah, she's past the second yellow. There she is. But her competition is kind of caught up. Jenna had a great first lap. Maybe she put it into cruise control a bit, who knows? I'm 
been doing rides in five years. Good job. Oh, oh, Lucy Charles comes out here. That felt good. The water was smooth. I swam on Eric Engel's feet for the first little buoy. Just tried to cruise into it and then pass by him after that. And at every buoy, I tried to look back to see where the, the guys were. I felt like they were always closing in, but I tried to just keep it smooth and easy to save my legs for tomorrow. We're in the hotel room finally. It's like 9 p.m. or midnight. <laughs> it's 8:25. <8:25. laughs> and uh, so dramatic. Um, we got some. <laughs> we picked up some pho from this cute-looking pho oh, place. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, isn't that neat? A few veggies, a little bit of protein, and it's just packed full of goodness for you. And I got a beer in a boba cup. Look, there's like 10 people waiting for the bathroom. Jenna got off to a good start. There were a couple other strong swimmers, but I think Jenna was kind of alone and taking the best line. Looks like they have a decently long transition. It's a long beach, thus, I guess, long beach. Um, Here. Here she comes. Go, go, go. Go. You got one girl right on your heels. Let's crush this bike. Jenna had the fastest swim time in her age group after 1.6 into the bike. She's first. She's she's crushing the bike. Let's go, Jenna! Come on! Easy around the turn!
That was exhilarating. That's a two loop course, so that was just her turnaround over there. Jenna's crushing right now. I am prepping for T2. Results through 10.2 miles of the bike. Jenna is averaging, it's good enough, 24 miles per hour, a minute and a half ahead of the second place overall woman. See what she can run. She's never broken 20 in a 5K. Here she is. She's coming in. Slow down. Let's go, Jenna. Let's go, Miguel. <laughs> Come on, Jenna. Go, go, go. Jenna. Go, go, go. Come on. You're alone right now. It's just you. Time trial this 5K. See what you got in those legs. PR 5K right now. You got the legs to do it. She was looking really strong. Zero hesitation, flew in the transition. Her overall lead has grown. I think she should be coming in for lap two. Here you go, Jenna. It's all you right now. Set it out on lap two. She'll be done in just under 10 minutes. We're gonna get ourselves to the finish line. Apparently, this is closer than I thought. Jenna Hoffler, First of all, I apologize for not getting Jenna's finish. I'm gonna go talk to people and I'm gonna see if I can find it. I totally didn't realize there was another wave behind her. There were two ex-Olympians that were in the 50 to 59 age group. She beat those Olympians by 13 seconds. And beat a couple of Olympians, no big deal. Despite not having a clue anyone was behind her, also, again, my fault. I told her she was completely alone. Yeah, well, at 50 years old, I hope to be doing something like that. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, just first off, congrats on the win. And uh, you know, how's it feel to cross the finish tape and grab the win here at Legacy? It feels really, really good. It's my first time breaking the tape for a triathlon, so... Like, it feels amazing. And now she's getting ready for her paraguiding tomorrow. You're guiding tomorrow. It's your first time. I know. Tell me a little bit about that. I'm honestly more nervous for that race than I was for this race. I haven't ridden a tandem bike in years, and I think last time I was on a tandem bike, my dad was in the front and I was in the back. So I'm gonna meet up with her this afternoon. We're gonna practice a little bit and get in the water and hopefully have everything ironed out before the race tomorrow. Yeah, All right. Get some rest, hopefully you get yeah. I know, I know, I need I don't even know what to do with my throat. Yeah, you but tea. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chug it. I've never seen Jenna drink a beer. It just tastes like shitty beer.
first place overall.